Hi, uh, this is Tanya Mess with Apple Tree Homeschool Academy and Apple Tree Home Daycare. I just wanted to give you an update real quick of how well this is working. We made some changes this past week, or I made some changes this past week, and I came up with this uh, cart system for washing and air drying the toys. So all of these actually are washed. This will normally be my dirty bin for dirty the dirty toys, and then letting the other uh, toys dry, air dry here, because I don't have that much counter space. And this has been working great. Now, I did wash all this up this morning. I wa rewashed the basket real quick. And then I put, I put these in a colander first and got a lot of the water to drip dry first. And then I uh, put a towel. Each one of the bins have a towel down in the bottom, and I made sure to get one with the holes in it so they could air dry and have good air circulations. And I'm second guessing needing to go back and get a third bin for here um, because I may not need it. So, but I don't know. We'll see. But this is we're working great. And then we set this little table here. Our, um, and for Play-Doh and this has been going great as well and getting this behind out from behind my um, chair at the dining room table has been working wonders we have not really utilized the play mat here uh, for the um, matchbox cars but that might come we'll see um, we have a problem with when the Piga kids the older kids try to play with their matchbox cars with the little toddlers babies or toddlers you know disrupting them so I was hoping that if they had a little area they can go and this is also something that a child who's having trouble regulating emotions could have some quiet private time and that's right here in this unused uh, area next to the cubbies so we'll see it's nap time right now, so I'm trying to be quiet, and I'm cleaning up from after lunch, so I still have to sweep the floor, but the bins were right behind this chair, and as you can see, um, there was no space for me. Raise, uh, raise the blinds up so I can see a little bit, but um, I removed this unit out of, no, this that unit out of the daycare room, and opened up a spot in the daycare room, and moved for what was there to here and I can get one more but I'll show you at another time what I have on these shelves and they get more cluttered having clean decluttering here last this last week and I still need to kind of figure out something for here everything gets put up this is mostly paint and things that I don't want the little uh, toddlers to get into and they get all crammed up here on the top shelf so I'm hoping to get something stacking to be able to kind of organize out. But there's a lot of paints there and paintbrushes and crayons and uh, markers and things are up high where they can't get a hold. But I'll try to do another video for you and let you know what I've got on the shelves here. But as you can see, there was actually no room to really keep my sensory bins there. But they've been there for probably a couple years. So anyway. So why am I making a video of this? So just to let you know, if you're working in a small space, don't lose heart. Um, hopefully this is going to inspire you to think outside the box a little bit. I mean, I don't know how long this area has been a thorn in my side from everything getting dumped here. And just by adding this little table here, it has totally changed. They have really been using it maybe because it's new, new area for them, but it's it's been great and it... Um, we're able to separate the toddlers from the olders, and I can still see the olders. Um, even though I could see the kids um, at the table from the daycare room, it still was a little bit too far away for me. That I really just was uncomfortable letting olders sit here while they were finished eating or doing a table activity, and then having toddlers having toddlers in this room say this well open right here and I could still see especially up in between but this really 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 helps me a whole lot having it 
a lot more convenient to the daycare room. So I just wanted to give you a shout out real quick and let you know, think outside the box. And there's hope. Thanks. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Thanks. Have a great week.